Welcome to Pack Expo Connects. Thank you guys for joining us. My name is Tyler and I'm with Magnum Systems. Uh, we provide a wide range of packaging machinery from standalone gross and net weight bagging scales to bulk bag filling and unloading systems, as well as semi-automatic packaging lines with robotic palletizing. When you're looking into selecting the right packaging equipment for your application, the first step is to determine the best feeding method uh, to deliver your product into the container consistently. If you have a pellet, sand, or granular type product, a gravity filler might work best. If you have a, a product that's irregular in shape, uh, maybe sticky, then a belt feeder is probably a good option for that type of application. Um, if you're feeding powder products, ingredients, um, then you're going to want to use an auger type filler and we provide various um, fillers with augers and uh, to handle those type of uh, powder products. <clears throat> um, lastly, if you have a more non-dusty and free-flowing type product, then a vibratory filler is, is probably going to be the best option for your, for your application. Uh, products that are, are fed in vibratory type um, fillers and that we've had good success with um, are any, uh, any type of bird feed blends, pet foods, um, pretzels, nuts, granola. Um, I think we've even done lava rock before, um, as well as we do a lot in the coffee industry handling both um, whole bean and roast ground coffee. Our TE10 uh, utilizes a bulk and dribble fill method that allows you to achieve both speed and accuracy within the filling machine. Um, our, our TE10 fillers are able to handle weighments anywhere from a few ounces all the way up to 25 pounds. And this model here is our TE10C. It, it is designed for our coffee industry and other food applications. It has the, uh, the most cleanable features that we offer on our vibratory fillers. We also have a more industrial version and just our TE10 simplex. Um, our mini option is handling just a few um, ounces up to one pound weighments. And then we also have a larger jumbo option um, that we can also do du a duplex style fill um, to, to, to hit those five um, higher feed weights. Um, our TE10 fillers can achieve anywhere from 10 to 10 to 20 bags a minute um, based, based on uh, product density and product type, it, it, will, it will vary. Um, but that's that's the expected range that, that you, you should be able to, to achieve with, it, with our TE10 fillers. What I'd like to do now is kind of walk through the features of this um, design of the TE10C, um, talk about the, how, um, the, how easy it is to clean as well as um, disassemble without a, the use of any tools. Uh, the hopper is uh, simple in shape, helps promote product flow, uh, reduce any bridging, rat holing, um, issues as well as um, there's no you know internal um, welds or crevices that are able uh, would allow for product buildup and so um, that's that's the main features design of the hopper it's not it's also not bolted down uh, it rests on the top of the frame and so you can take it right out once the product once the hopper is empty of product wipe it down clean it put it back in uh, no tools and it takes a matter of minutes um, the whole feeder itself has, has an open design. You can wipe down pretty much any area you need to. The uh, transition piece uh, that you see here between the hopper and the, the feeding tray it easily just slips up and down uh, to adjust the bed depth of your vibratory filler depending on what type of product you're using. The net weigh bucket here uh, mounted on the front. Uh, you, again, you can take it off very easily. There's three pins that uh, help hold it in place as well as uh, lugs and the side of it is, is slotted so it just rests on onto the mounting lugs there. Um, this is also where the load cell comes into play and uh, gives a signal back to the weight controller to um, help monitor the, the fill weights. Um, the transition piece here and two-piece spout also comes right off. The frame is slotted um, with the lugs on it so again it just rests in place. A quick clamp here for your spout. We offer different spout sizes depending on the bag weight that you um, are trying to fill, um, as well as uh, different uh, shapes. So if you have a, I think we've even done small um, square spouts for little um, coffee filling applications. But um, so that's kind of the, the range of, of features that allow this to be cleanable and um, easily um, maintenance. So what we're going to do now is go through and just I'm going to fill this bag a few times with one pound weighments and uh, show you how easy it is to operate. This one is provided with a foot switch. We also have them provide options with a hand switch and um, 
really just your preference there, what your operators would like. I pull the east, turn the machine on, I pull the e-stop button, and there's already product in there, so we're just going to go ahead and discharge that down. There's one pound. Another pound. Very easy to operate. Um, as soon as you fill, as soon as you dump one um, uh, one amount of product into the bag, then it automatically restarts. Um, again, so the weight controller kind of go back to it a little bit. The it offers two set points. You put those set points in prior to filling. Uh, we were trying to fill one pound weights. This this machine here um, does anywhere from a few ounces up to two and a half pounds with this net weight bucket. Um, again, depending on your product, we can. Um, size uh, those the netway bucket and, and feeding tray um, accordingly to, to get the best results. Uh, we also offer uh, additional options, so we can do a vacuum uh, a vacuum loader for the hopper. We provide mobile stands with casters. Um, we can also provide bag closing equipment. And so, if you would uh, if you have any needs for for those items as well, we can definitely help you out. Um, either specify or uh, provide those to you. Um, so what I'd like to do now is have you watch a short video on a coffee filling application. It'll give you a little bit of a feel for some of the other options that we provide with this filling machine. And um, if you have any questions after that, then we can cover, cover those at that time. So thank you guys for joining us today for this presentation. Um, as you can see in the in the video, uh, we were able to provide a, a vacuum loading hopper. Um, those those fillers were on um, mobile mobile stands, I think, and they also have casters so if they needed to move them around at all, as well as uh, the bag closing sealer and conveyor. Um, we provided all those options for that for that um, application and customer. Um, I believe those those fillers have been in an operation since about 2005, um, so they've lasted 15 years. Um, the equipment that we make is very durable, it lasts a long time, and is a good quality product. So again, we appreciate you guys for joining this presentation today, and uh, best of luck with the rest of the show.